My name is Wendy Mackay. I'm a research director at INRIA in France, and I run the research group called Ex Situ for Extreme Situated Interaction at the University of Paris Saclay. Interestingly enough, I started out pretty much hating computers. I took my first computer course in college. We had punch cards in those days, and it was very boring. And I thought I would never touch a computer again. And then later on, I became an experimental psychologist and I was working with data. And I realized that for somebody like me, who didn't particularly like computers, computers could still be really useful to help me do the things that I actually was interested in. And so I then moved to Digital Equipment Corporation um, and it was at a really exciting time when we started learning how to be able to put video and text and graphics on computers. And I got very excited about creating computers that people could use to teach themselves how to use computers. So she would do this first, and then you would build up like that. So I've been working in an area that in the early days we called augmented reality, but in those days we actually meant something much broader than the term now. So it's not just people looking through glasses and seeing video and projected on top of that, but any kind of interaction with the physical world that brings the computer or computational information into physical objects. And the reason that's critical is because as human beings, we're really good at interacting with physical objects. We intuitively understand how they work, we understand the laws of physics, and we can appropriate objects and tools in all kinds of very powerful ways, even though we have a simple form of interaction. Do you have any another one? video in here? Yes. Okay, here. I find it very challenging and interesting to deal with people not only from different countries but from different disciplines. So we work with designers and computer scientists and social scientists. And my own background is one that mixes social science and computer science, for example. And I think if you want to really build technology that empowers people, you have to understand people from a variety of different perspectives. I can't possibly have all those perspectives myself, so it's really great having a group of students and actually other faculty that come from different countries with different backgrounds and different perspectives. I have a long relationship with Ojos. Um, my very first contact was via Susanna Bodker when we were both Early, early in our careers, I was working on my PhD. I think she might have finished hers, uh, but we were both the same, roughly the same time frame. Actually, I ended up meeting my husband at a workshop that was sponsored at Warhol's University, uh, Michel Boudon Afon. And uh, since then, we've had students come back and forth. We send our students there, they send their students uh, here. Uh, so it's been a very collaborative, uh, positive collaboration over the years.